This is Twit. This, this is the magical, the, the mystical, V computer. Box. I wanted to show you the unboxing because I think they've actually, one of the things you'd expect with a low cost crowdsourced, they did this first on Indiegogo mm -hmm. and now they have a site, eve.community with 6,000 members all giving well, input. You'd expect a cheap paper box. Exactly. You wouldn't think that this is Apple, look at this, Apple quality packaging inside here. And when I first opened it, I thought, oh, there's the laptop. No, it's the keyboard. But look at that, Alcantara, like the surface, very nice fabric. And if we it's dig Alcantara a little, the name of the fabric, Alcantara. Alcantara. Yeah. Alcantara. Got it. It's a good name for a fabric. Uh, inside here, of course, you've got the power supply. You know all the all the cords the stuff. you need. You get the pen. We should show you the pen. This is uh, this is the same kind of uh, uh, touch sensitive. In fact, really, it compares directly with the Surface. Here, let's take this out of the box. Well, this box. is basically a group of people that liked the idea of the Surface, but didn't want to pay. They wanted the a convertible, tag. and they didn't want to pay Surface the Microsoft tax. price. It does have a kickstand, and the kickstand, which I really like, goes all the way back to about 20 degrees. That mm -hmm. means you could use this almost as a drawing board. Uh, it does use pogo pins to connect to the keyboard, just like the Surface Pro, but the keyboard also has its own internal battery, which means it can also do Bluetooth. Nice. So you could separate it if you want and then use it mm -hmm. as a Bluetooth keyboard. And one of the things, because it has its own battery, you see this, it has, it's a backlit keyboard <laughs> and it has multiple colors, seven different colors. All I have to do is do function and there's the, e the Eve key has its little triangle I logo. What that was all and about. I can cycle through the colors. Another thing I really like about this, it has a fingerprint reader on the on-off switch. Mm -hmm. So here's the on-off switch. And, if, and while I turned it on, I unlocked it at the same time. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Very quickly using Windows Hello. So that's the fingerprint reader there. The other thing I really like is with, and you would expect this with a crowdsourced uh, computer, they're gonna give you uh, connections. There's two USB-C connectors. There's two USB-A connectors. Both of them are 3.0. There's a uh, Thunderbolt 3 USB-C is one of the two. And it has a full uh, headphone jack, I nice. guess. Everybody does in laptops, but uh, it's nice to still see these. And a micro SD card reader. I'm not sure what that would be for, but it's good to have it as Actually, I, backup, right? You know, the like the I was delighted with the new Dell XPS. Uh, excuse me, the new Dell 7000 all in one. It actually has an SD card reader. So on does it, my Yoda. Why? Love. What do well, you use it for? Cameras uh. and actually uh, Raspberry Pi. <laughs> oh, that's what you <laughs> use it for. A micro SD card. It's for. For installing for the uh, one board PC, because I'm always I'm, 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 I'm delighted when those are Makes on, sense, on the machines. Actually, so it's heavier. Okay, so one the thing surface. the crowd and I think this is really interesting. You know, the problem with most computers, it's whoever works at the company, especially if it's Apple deciding. Right. Well, it's Johnny. It's well, Johnny. Johnny's back to deciding. Yeah, Johnny's apparently. now back. But uh, I keep seeing these thinner and thinner phones, and one of the things I keep saying to myself is, I'd buy a thicker phone if it had better battery life. This is slightly thicker, mm -hmm. okay, uh, which means it's slightly heavier. But as a result, they were able to get a 48 watt hour battery in it. That's a much bigger battery. And there now it's a, the the processors are core Y, so that's a very you know energy efficient mm -hmm. processor. I think it's a beautiful display. This is using, in fact, they have a video I could show you here on the making of the of the V. Uh, this is an IGZO display, which is also good for power mm -hmm. consumption. PCIe storage, lower power PCIe storage. I should point out to the people watching at home that the video we're looking at is not blown out. It's just when it gets bright, it's a little it blows bright out for the camera. Yeah, the video looks pretty good. But I have to say, this is a, even a luxury because of the Alcantara on mm -hmm. here. The backlit keyboard is a very luxurious feel to this. Yeah, a little bit heavier, but man, I don't mind it. A little extra poundage, a little extra thickage for better battery life. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna make a big difference. The keyboard has a battery too, not to charge this, but as I said, for the Bluetooth mode. Um, Gorilla Glass on the, on the tablet screen. Always a plus. And Gorilla Glass trackpad. That's nice, I like the glass trackpads, mm -hmm. and this is using the, the Windows uh, trackpad. The, uh, the uh, DAC, I knew you'd be interested in this, is a TPA, from Texas Instruments, TPA 6133. So it's a very nice digital audio converter. It also comes with two far field noise canceling mics. I'm seeing that more and more in laptops for Skype, right. that kind of thing, right? So you don't have to, a lot of times you use a laptop mic, you sound like you're in a, a, a giant uh, stadium. Right. This will sound a lot better. I'm, I am pretty impressed by the specs on it. And having used it for a little bit, of course, it, it's got a pen that is, the, you know, very much like the Surface Pen. And just like the Surface Pen, and there's nowhere to put it. And everybody gets a pen, it. right? 
Everybody gets a pen. It's not an extra cost. Okay. And actually, notice by the I way, I, I really like this feature. Uh, but Surface does this too, where you can have the keyboard flat, or you can do it like this. There's a little magnet here to give it a little angle. That makes it very comfortable for typing. So there's a fairly big bezel. Screen looks good, but there's a fairly big bezel. It isn't an infinity display. You have that with your right. in, your Dell, of course. It's it's a little heavier and a little thicker, which yep. isn't too problematic unless a half pound drives you insane. The thing, or I was really curious, the keyboard, the the tactile response to the feel of the keyboard it's is pretty good. Is really good. Good travel. A mm -hmm. lot of times now we're seeing these very short travel keyboards, which are I think hard to be accurate with. Mm -hmm. But this feels very nice. And now to be fair. The Microsoft Surface Pro keyboard is, if you get the high-end one, is about right. this good, the type keyboard. Uh, now, here's the big thing for me. I mentioned already the fingerprint reader right. built in. That's huge. Type-C charging. One of the things I hate about the Surface is you have to use their proprietary Surface connector for yeah. charging. It's a, it was a, That's really, a negative. really poor choice on their part. Type-C is so important these days on laptops. I would say don't buy a Surface because it doesn't have type C and type C charging means you you don't have to buy a proprietary charger you have chargers probably already well, yeah it, well it's if the charger you have is of a decent quality and will actually do the job without lighting itself on fire that's a whole other <laughs> conversation but it's, it, one of the things about the XPS I like is that it will do it will use the proprietary charger or it will do USB-C charging right you know, and as I right. started to get more USB-C devices, isn't that nice? Or monitors with USB-C, where I could plug the USB-C cable into the laptop, and it would charge the laptop, and pull the video off the laptop. Like USB-C, isn't that nice? It's, yes, USB-C is a hot mess in a lot of ways, but yeah, when it but works, when it works, it's it's best. great. I these days I say don't buy a laptop that doesn't have a fingerprint reader because mm -hmm. that's the fastest easy way to log in. I like the Windows Hello camera, but the fingerprint reader is much more secure, and that doesn't have Type C charging. You've got to have Type C charging and a fingerprint reader. This has that in a very nice form factor. This is a very high resolution. I think a very nice display. Uh, it is. Uh, I don't. Is that three two? I don't think it's three two. I think it. It's in the neighborhood. It, the Surface is 3.2, which I really like. Maybe it is 3.2. Let me look at the uh, so, resolution of this. Play. What's the pricing you. on this thing? All right, so depends what you, of course, depends what you put right. uh, want. If you want the M3, the best mobility processor, mm -hmm. with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gig hard drive, the low end, there it is, 799, which I think is very competitive. Well, it's it's actually in a lot of ways more than competitive because so many of the entry level laptops we see at that price only don't have want. four gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, you don't want. Which is a nightmare when you're running Windows. Go all the way up to 16 gigs of RAM and an i7 with a terabyte SSD, you're 2,000 bucks. This is about $900 less That's huge. than a comparable Surface Pro, the brand new Surface Pro. When you put an i7, 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gig hard drive, and you include the pen, which is extra for Microsoft. Right. That is a huge difference. Here's what you don't get. You don't get the stability of a company like Microsoft. I don't know how long Eve's going to be around. Right. They're a crowdsourced company. There's, it's eight people, eight guys in Finland. There's nothing wrong with a product designed by eight guys. The sixty-four thousand dollars question is: is the eight guys not just is the eight guys will they still be in business? But has this been assembled and will this hold up as well? What they because say even is, even with all of Microsoft's money, they had some issues for a while. I know. It was the first. I often say, don't buy the first laptop from any company. This right. is the first laptop from Eve. Uh, Scandinavian industrial design. These eight guys in Finland, Chinese manufacturer. Everybody makes yeah. in China, but to their specs. Uh, there were also American designers, and really, we should say that the the community is a thousand people who designed this at Eve Community, and designed each spec one by one through the crowdsource. That's unique. I have to say, they have made a gorgeous, mm -hmm. if you're looking for a convertible, I would absolutely say this is more than competitive with a Microsoft Surface Pro. The only question mark is, you know, support. How long, yeah. is, how long are they going to be around? But if you think of this as a computer you're going to use for a couple of years, uh, I'd have no problem with this. All day battery life. I love it that this is, uh, and Microsoft's doing this now too, but the idea that this can go an infinite, the kickstand going, an <laughs> infinite number of degrees, including, I love, I do this with my Surface Studio, this laid back, by the way, look how fast, let me just show you how fast this fingerprint reader is. If it's, <laughs> well, as soon as it sees me, I didn't get it on right, but it's, it's very quick. And I, and I just really, I really like that. This is uh, 2880 by 1920. 2880 by 1920. It's a nice res. It's, it's the, a sharp display. It's funny. It's, I will be. I will be very curious to see how they hold up over time. Having compared to the description and some of the reviews I read, I'm more impressed with it face to face than I was yeah. in in some of the write ups. It's on pretty it. nice. 
And it I don't know, why do they give you these? What are those? To mount your watch band. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> well, they look like watch band pins. I don't know. They must have some importance that I don't understand. Is there a manual? <laughs> yeah, probably somewhere. So uh, I'm going to say <laughs> thumbs up on the Eve with that one exception. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, you, it's a company, first time they made a laptop. We don't know how long they're going to be around. Packaging is beautiful. They include, by the way, I should show this, uh, the international power adapters nice. for the uh, Type-C USB. That's part of the deal. Um, because it's an international company. It really, really... And the charger is really small. Yeah. Oh, I should show that, shouldn't I? Yeah. And this is typical of USB-C right. now, these chargers. Uh, let me see what this, uh, the wattage is. 45 or 65? That's a 45 watt. All right. It's exciting. I, I'm, I have to say I'm really pleased to see this. And it solves one of the big problems I have with the Surface Pro, which is that proprietary Surface connector. They've done a very nice job.